Hi guys, in this video today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to add fractions that have different denominators. So the hardest part of adding two fractions together is if they have two different denominators like these two fractions have here, you first need to change both fractions so they have the same denominator. Once you've done that, it's actually really easy. So let's take a look at the example here, 3 sevenths plus 1 third. Okay, I need to change the denominators so they are the same. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a look at the denom denominator. It's a 7. Okay, so I'm going to do the 7 times table. This is a three, so I'm going to do the three times table. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Then I'm going to look at both lists and I'm going to find what we call the lowest common multiple. Basically, that means the lowest number that is in both of these lists. So I can see here that 21 is in the seven times table, and I can see it's also in the three times table. So I've there found the lowest common multiple. And what that means is I have to change both of these fractions so the denominator is not seven, but 21. And I have to change this three into 21 as well. Okay, so now I have decided that the denominators have to be 21. Okay, now I need to figure out what the numerators are going to change to as well, because they cannot stay the same. Now you can see here that I have one, two, three. So 21 was the third number in the times table. So watch, one, two, three. So I'm gonna do three times three. And that's going to give me nine. For this one, okay, 21 was one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh in the three times table. So I'm going to do one times seven. One times seven is seven. So now what you'll see is this fraction is now, and I'm going to write it over here, nine twenty-first. And this one is seven twenty-firsts. And all I do now is add these together. Nine add seven is 16. And then 21 and 21, we know that that just stays the same. Okay, you never add the denominators together. Okay, so I've just done there three sevenths plus one third. And the answer is 16 twenty firsts. Once you have your answer, the last thing that you need to decide is, can it be simplified? If it can be simplified, then you will need to show your answer in the simplest form, okay? And if you don't know how to do that, I will link a card up above this video right now, and you can check out how to simplify any fraction. Hope this video has been helpful for you today and if you did learn anything then please smash that like button and hopefully I will catch you in the next video.